Hartley's delivery, it's 2-2. It's all about the flight on the ball from Hartley. Zalukas fell with a firm header. And Hart's back on level terms. First Hart's goal for Mario Zalukas, and it's come at a very opportune moment. Driver tries again. All the keepers come for it. Not very convincing. And it's been turned in by Zaliukas. And Hart have struck late on at Easter Road against their fierce rivals. Andy McNeil unable to deal with it. And Hart may be spoiling the League Cup winning party here. Quite simply, the goalkeeper doesn't deal with it properly. Just flaps at it, and to be fair to Zalukas, there's a lot of defending to do, but that's an excellent finish. Keeps it down, and once again, in a derby, Edinburgh derby, John Collins has another goalkeeping error. Looks like it's going to cost him. And will it be Michael Stewart? It's Stewart, in fact, to flights it in. Higdon back defending. Oh, there's the chance! Too easy for Zalukas. Well, that was terrible defending by Higdon inside the area. The ball flighted in by Michael Stewart, they headed over Higdon right into the injury. El Yukas instantly with a first time volley. And cruel was my Marius Zalukas fired Hearts ahead with a powerful header. It's the opening goal for Hearts and Zel Yukas. The marking simply not good enough for Hamilton. Driver's corner kick, no marking at all for Zel Yukas. And one nod of the head puts Hearts ahead. 18 minutes on the clock. This was a different story. Aguiar floated in. It's a fine save. Yes. But it's been put in. Hearts have the lead. And it's Zaniukas who pounces. By full time, Tyne Castle rocked to its very foundations as Hearts produced a magical performance, sending their 15,000 supporters delirious. This was a fifth successive since quickly and eagerly they go. Good delivery, solid header away. Michan was up there, Foster Zaliukas! It fell for Zaliukas and he guided it into the net. Hearts have their second after 54 minutes. They're keeping the dream alive. Game on now, it's what they said, the ball's put in there. A terrible clearance right at the edge of the box. It drops to Sir Lucas, just like the first one, wasn't the greatest sight you'll see in the world. But he managed to drop it away. Here's a terrible clearance from Samir. He just likes it again. A player, Susu, coming from offside. This time, could technically, I suppose, be involved in play if you keep an eye on Boozy. But as well past the goalkeeper. Just what Hearts wanted. The dream is still alive. Morales He's heading wide. Craig Thompson this time, there's Zaliukas! Surely that's the winning goal! With just two minutes remaining. Zaliukas rose completely unmarked there. Dreadful. In Black's corner, Zaliukas has broken away. And Manny Zaliukas helps himself to a simple goal. 52 seconds on the clock, his marker lost him. And Mario Saliukas with a very simple task to knock it back. Hammer with the corner, Hearts have pressed everybody up. McGowan tried to get there. Back off Manis, deflected off the bar. Comes inside Saliukas for the touch and the goal. Three minutes to play, an extra time, and Mario Saliukas has Hearts ahead. Well, Hearts brought everybody up here. McGowan tried to knock the ball through. Manis got it, seemed to hit from Webster. <laughs>
setting himself up for this long throw. Sutton looking to cause havoc. There's a big shot! Penalty! Just a boost. Hard to bit lonely and needed. With problems mounting off the pitch. A chance for them to salvage something on it here in Inverness. And that's a big call from t from uh, Willie Collum. I think Tudor Jones hasn't seen young Callum Patterson. His eyes are constantly on the ball. Patterson nicks it. He brings him down and Willie Collum is right on the spot. And he's decided it's a penalty kick. Ryan Stevenson chose this venue for his first parts goal. Well, he was about to take it. It's going to be Marius Zaliukas. Apparently, that was all a bit confusing. It will be left to the captain, Marius Zaliukas. Perfectly converted. You can see what it means to him, and it means a lot to the heart supporters. Certainly not to Terry Butcher, though. Cali Thistle were in control, but it's a big maroon moment at the end of the game, and it's one-one. And just want you want a little bit of composure. Up steps your captain, sends a goalkeeper the wrong way. Have they deserved to draw their second half performance? That's what the penalty kicks for. Very, very soft in my eyes.